All right, today on the menu, I've got a Chipotle beef wraps. So we've got some fantastic ingredients here, lots of fresh ingredients, and we're going to braise beef. The beef, what we're going to use today is rump. Nice uh, selected uh, cut is the rump. Uh, and then for that reason, we're going to pull it apart and we're going to get these nice, beautiful strands. And our main flavor are these smoked chilies. So these are Chipotle chilies, and they're basically habanero chili, so it's got a nice bit of kick, and uh, they've been smoked, and it's got a nice adobe sauce as well. So heaps and heaps of flavor. So, and we've got loads of spices as well, and I'm going to, you come back a bit later, I'm going to show you exactly how to make this, and uh, we'll finish it. Mark is making Mexican with Mike. Gracias, Mel. Mark, two of my favourite things, meat and Mexican. I don't, <laughs> I don't know why that sounds so weird in my head, but I do. I love Mexican, and anything to do with meat, I'm right there. So what have we got today? Fantastic. So really simple dish, uh, packed full of flavour. So we've got the smoked chipotle uh, peppers. And we've got all these spices as well, so I'm going to show you how to make the sauce in just a minute. Is that what I can smell right now? What is this? Yes, yeah, so these are the uh, chipotle peppers. Mm, can I taste it? Yeah, so smoky, nice mm, bit of yeah. heat in there, nice and zingy. Yeah, it's a bit zingy, all right? That's good for you. Okay, nice. That's so good. So good. <laughs> okay, so what are we going to start with? Right, so first of all, we're just going to brown the rump steak. So just cut it into nice big chunks. You know, just trim a little bit of the fat off. You don't need to be, um, you know, too pedantic about that because we're going to cook it for a long time, so it is going to sort of uh, melt down as well, the fat. So just pop the beef in there, just give it a light seasoning, high heat, we'll get some nice colour on there. Right. As the meat's browning, we're going to make our sauce. OK, sweet. So for the sauce, we need... All right. So all these chipotle peppers. Mm-hmm. Oh, that is... Yeah. I'm still feeling that, actually. <laughs> yeah. I hope you like it spicy. It's good. No, Mexican's good spicy. So we've got some cloves in there, some oregano, and some uh, smoked paprika as well, so smell that mm, as well. That Beautiful. Good too, yeah. um, cumin seeds as well. Got a little bit of lime juice in there. Right. And some cider vinegar as well. And then we're just going to blend all that, just so you sort of break those chilies down and make a nice thick sauce. <laughs> Pop <off> on top. <laughs> yeah, okay, cool. All right, so we just get that blended. Just check our beef, just starting to get a bit of colour on it now. Just get a little bit more. Right, and then, so all you need to do is blend it like that. So we'll bring that off, we'll have a look. <laughs> My direction just said I look scared. That, this, is, <laughs> this is really hot, actually. <laughs> OK. How we go? Does that look? Good consistency? Beautiful, yeah. So, so you've still got a nice little bit of texture in there, so that's fine. Okay. Right, and then we're just going to pour that over the beef now. Okay, sweet. So pop that in. Can I just pour it? Yep. Okay, here we go. Pour it in, scoop it all out. So you've got all that flavour now. That's going to... The combination is going to be beautiful, isn't it? All right, so we've got that in there. Also in this pan now, we're just going to put some chicken stock. And then we're just going to bring that to the boil. And we've also got some bay leaves as well. Classic bay leaves. OK, nice. Right, and a little tip for you now. So garlic, bulb of garlic, you know, so how do you get the, uh, the cloves of garlic off the bulb of garlic without, like, you know, getting a knife and peeling it really sort of intricately and taking oh, ages? I usually buy it chopped up, actually, because <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm really lazy. <laughs> but if you've got a tip for me, then I'm going to enjoy it. So this. get your garlic bulb and just crush it. And then you just, you're left with all your individual cloves. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Easy. How that? And then we will just smash them up. Okay. And then we'll just pop them in as well. And how long so are we going to leave this beef cooking for? Right, so we're just going to bring it up to the boil, uh, and then we're going to put a lid on it, and then we're going to put it in a uh, sort of about 160, 170 degree, degree oven, just until it's nice and tender, so probably about sort of three hours. A uh, great recipe for the slow cooker as well. It takes about six hours, but you can put it on before you go to work, come back, and then all this beef is going to be beautifully made. And tender. Nice, okay. Right, and then, uh, so we just got a bit of garnish now just to serve with our um, uh, wraps. So we're just making a little quick salsa. So we've got an avocado. Mm -hmm. We've just uh, scooped it out, just sort of crushed it up. So you've still got a bit of texture. And then quarter your tomatoes. I'm going to take the seeds out. Okay. And then we're just going to chop them just into a nice little dice. And we're going to fold that through. We've got some red onion and some chilli in there. Nice. And then we'll come back a little bit later, and then we'll build these wraps. So it's all about the flavour here today with our Mexican chipotle wraps. Um, and we'll get that beef underway. Well, Mark knows what he's doing. I don't really, <laughs> to be honest with you. Basically, I'm, what I'm going to say is that we'll come back to the kitchen soon. We'll finish it up. Now over to you.
Mark and the Mastercraft Kitchen, how are we going with our Chipotle beef wraps? We are ready. So the beef has been cooking for about three, four hours, nice and slow. You can see how tender that is. And then you just want to sort of pull it, almost like pulled pork. Two uh, forks, and then just sort of break it up like that. There you go, give it a nice stir. You can see that sauce is nicely reduced around. And then we're going to pop it in our wrap. Not a traditional wrap, we're using lettuce today. What's up with your lettuce wrap? Uh, just to keep some people behind the scenes happy. <laughs> the bosses. <Yeah. laughs> Gluten free. But, uh, but if you want, you know, use a, use a tortilla wrap or put it on a nice bun as well. So we've got our salsa here. So we've got the avocado, the chilli, the onion, a bit of Tabasco in there, a little bit of red pepper. Wow. And some sour cream just to combat a little bit of that heat because it is a little bit spicy. Great for winter though. How long did you say your beef was cooking for? Oh, about three, four hours. Geez, that time's yeah. fun, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's been a, it's been a long morning. It's been a long morning. Right, guys, I want to get your opinions on here. Oh. Mike's the expert on Mexican. Yes, I am. You're going to wrap it up for us? <laughs> no, I'll do everything for you. Nice little parcel. Actually, saying before she wants a, what was it, a cauliflower tortilla? Yeah. Well, we can see who's going to be in the kitchen tomorrow morning. <laughs> OK, right. Uh, I'm going to give this a go because this looks amazing. I actually quite like it with the lettuce wrap. Is that all right? Something yep. a little bit different, Mel. It is healthy mm. too. It's good for you. Mm. Nice. Mmm. <laughs> that is really good. Oh, it has got a bit of a kick to it. Okay, thank you, Mark. Really appreciate it. <laughs> He's going all red. I'm going to eat some more of this very soon. What's on the menu tomorrow? Well, I've got some fish sliders tomorrow. Oh, yum. Yum, they sound good. I love fish sliders.